What up, gang? This is your boy Macy Odio back with another tutorial, and I'm gonna show y'all several different useful FL Studio shortcuts that I use while I'm making beats through my process. One of the biggest ones I really found out about is moving the metronome because sometimes when you're making a beat and the metronome be hella loud, it really takes the attention away from you trying to get a good sound and beat. So what I do is go into audio, move my metronome. This is basically the, the master metronome sound. So I put it on like 20, 25. When I hit play, the metronome pop up down here and I could just lower the volume of the metronome. So this will affect the main sounds that you run through here. Like say for instance, my uh like my sounds on the side and my drum kit sounds it will affect that on that side too so if you want to you can put a gang stage to make it louder on the master you know what i'm saying but and that right there really helps me get in my timing right without that metronome sounding so harsh while I'm making these beats so the next step is the channel rack. If you want to clone all these right here, just double click on this, then hit Control C, and then go to pattern one, I mean pattern two, and hit Control V, just like that, and they clone into the next channel rack. And if you want to use loop mode, you can, but me, I really don't use loop mode, because I'm, I just don't use it. If you just want to clone like single ones, click, click one, and highlight and scroll down, and hit Control C and Control V. Another shortcut that I like to use is cloning a VST or a drum. So what I would do is hit Alt-C to clone it, just like that. Okay, another thing I like to do in the channel rack is rename everything that I got up in here before I put it in the mixer channel. Okay, once I have all these renamed, I like to organize my drums. So I put my clap at the top. Put my snare up under it. My hi hat, open hat, my crash always be at the bottom. My 808 always gonna be at the top, below all the melodies. And my kick, if I use the kick. Okay, the next step I've had to talk about is resetting the levels. So all I gotta do is hit Alt and just click to reset the levels, including your volume knobs too. Next, we're gonna go into the piano roll. This MIDI have been made. It haven't been quantized, but it have been strummed. You can tell by the notes at the bottom. So. What I'm gonna do is highlight all these by hitting control and just left clicking to highlight all of them. And what I'm gonna do is hold alt and just hit the scroll wheel up like that and just bring them back down and they are all leveled off. And I feel that do it again because I forgot my bottom notes. And what I want to do to strum is hit alt s and I can just play with the, the timing and the velocity and then I can hit alt r. And these settings will remain the same until you decide to change them. But this right here is, is really useful for the panning if you're using a lot of one shots because your one shots can have more movement and more width in the sound. Another shortcut that I like to use is reversing my melodies. So I hit alt y to reverse my melody. You can flip horizontal or flip vertical and you can hear what it sound like before, before and after. Another useful shortcut that I use is hitting shift and dragging up. So what I would do is hold control and then hit shift and drag these notes up. And if you want to delete these, all you have to do is hit delete. Another shortcut I like to use is moving these up an octave or move, moving them up a semitone. So you can hit shift to move them up a semitone or you can hit control up to move them an octave. Okay, now I'm going into the claps and I'm gonna show y'all how to stretch and shorten your notes. So if you wanna make your notes, your notes longer, just hit control L and you'll stretch your notes out. If you wanna uh, make your notes shorter, just hit shift D and they'll box them out into the magnet that you are using, your step of magnet. And if you wanna Quantize your notes. So say for instance, my notes is off the grid and I'm just go to bar. I'm gonna just hit control Q and it'll quantize my notes like that. And if you want to undo that, you will, you will hit control Z to undo that. And you can hit control Z multiple times if you just really messed up like, like way past time, like 20 minutes ago, if you messed up around that time, you can hit control Z all the way that far, like for real. Now we're gonna go into the mixer channel. I'm gonna show you the other shortcuts I like to use. So instead of just putting these in the channel one by one, what I like to do is just highlight everything and go here and click on Route Select the Channel Started from this track, and boom, they're all up in here. 
So before I start all of my leveling, I start by leveling up in here. And I might pan just a little bit up in here. So once I pan and level up in here, I go up in here and I start my level again. I cycle through it. So I'll start my, my 808, my claps, I go on down the line and then I go to my melody. And I also pan up in here too. So say for instance, you have effects up on this channel right here. I'm just pull up a bunch of effects. And then you just want to copy these effects to the same, like to another channel or another mixer. All you have to do is click on file, save mixer track, and just drag it. And those same presets will pop up as here. But once they pop up, you'll notice that a change up in the naming that you had. And it will change your panning. So if you had this pan left already or right, it will pan that in. It will set the same volume. So it'll do all type of things. But if you don't want to go that route, all you have to do is just click on one of these save and just drag and you won't have to worry about it changing your volume in your painting so next we dropping down into the playlist I don't really change none of the tracks or anything I don't do none of it what I would do is uh after I have everything in the pattern I go to pattern and I go by split mixer channel just like that okay once I got that I hit control then I hit shift to highlight all these and I just drag them in just like that. Okay, and I can use this cut tool right here by clicking on it and right clicking the cut, the, the little axis. So the less excess you got on the other side of this cut, that's where it's gonna cut, you know what I'm saying? So boom, we're gonna cut that. And it will cut that front piece too. Okay, another thing I like to do is clone this like six times. So I hit Control B to clone these like six or seven times. It's like that. If I have too many of these patterns cloned, I hit Control and I left click on these patterns and I hit B to delete all these. Okay, another thing I like to do, if you got FL Studio 20 or 12, you can render out a track. So say for instance, uh, your piano is using up a lot of CPU or memory. What you can do is just right click on here and go to consol consolidate from track start and it will turn into a waveform. So once it have turned into a waveform, the track that you render, will automatically be muted I think another FL Studio shortcut I like to use is merging piano patterns or drum patterns so what I will do is uh make one unique and change the melody of this and then once I have done it I will have two different melodies and what I will do is go here and merge pattern clip and that is as one and those are the main FL studio shook because I really use the other ones I pretty much don't use like I think it's over probably 200 FL studio shortcuts but me I probably use like 20 to 30 out of the whole 200 FL studio shortcuts it might be less than it but that's what I do and it helped me in the process of making my beats so make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if this really helped y'all out. I wish this video came out better and more organized, but it was kind of rushed to me. So I see y'all again. Adios, gang.